So. He's licking his ass. That's fine. I think it's cute. It's wellness, baby. Yeah. It's well. If I could do it, I would do it. <laughs> we all would. We all Let's would. Let's be honest. Yeah. All right. Um. So yeah. In this episode, we're just going to talk a little bit, just a little bit, about living by your cycle. Which no, but you were saying something more interesting. Before. Yeah. So I'll start. I'll <laughs> go back more. with that. Even more, like, more interesting. My birth control story. Um, no, I got my first period when I was like 12 years old, I think. Right. Um, maybe 11, somewhere around there. That's, and yeah, that's normal. It's normal, yeah. right? Yeah. I was sitting in my science class next to my total like middle school crush. And mm -hmm. I started my period. And I just remember like lifting up and seeing the blood on the chair, those plastic mm. blue chairs. Yeah. Um, but luckily, like, you know, I went to the nurse's office and then I went home. But um, it was a really heavy period. And my mom was like, oh, okay, we should, you know, she started her period. Obviously, she's going to, you know, engage in sexual intercourse now because that's what 12 years old do. 12 year olds do where I come from. Oh um, <laughs> you know, I didn't, but it was a heavy period. I had cramps and stuff. And so I went to the gyno and they were like, here's some birth control. All and right. then basically. So that four, early on. Yeah. Since I was 12 years old from 12 to 24 for 12 years, I was on birth control and I was never on the same birth control. Um, hmm. every three to six months, they would give me a different brand because nothing was working with my cycle. I still had heavy periods. I still had, you know, uh, terrible cramps and, you know, it was just this year I was actually like, my guy and I was like, Oh, you have endometriosis. Like, that's why like everything's like gone to shit. Right. Um, but it took forever. And basically they were just like, no birth control is going to solve it. And it made it so much worse. Uh, oh, I had anger no. issues. I had anxiety issues, you know, my skin phenomenal i will admit um but yeah it actually weighed like really heavy on me and it was really hard to be on birth control especially the pill taking that pill every day same time um but it just gave me a lot of like mental issues but that's such a common story i mean like i've just looked up some facts and like mm -hmm. one in ten women in the u.s have endometri endometriosis endometriosis yeah yeah, yeah. And one in nine women suffer from polycystic yep, PCOS. ovary system yep. um, syndrome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think like this is such a common story because often um, symptoms of all of these issues are treated through um, hormonal yep. contraception. Exactly. Which like I'm not bashing hormonal contraception. Mm -hmm. I think it's in incredibly important in you know family planning yep. and having um, safe sex. Yeah. And sometimes, safe it, sex. Partially, <laughs> partially yeah. safe and sometimes sex. it does help um, with like some symptoms of definitely like know. lighter symptoms especially yep. in um premenstrual yeah pms um, yeah pms oh. and so so forth but um you know covering up underlying issues which are which originate in hormonal disbalance or other health issues mm -hmm. is kind of not helpful for for many many women because they go on for years without yeah. treating the actual problem yeah um and just trying to treat uh the symptoms with um hormonal exactly. contraception which often doesn't even treat that it so, just made everything 10 times worse yeah in all honesty yeah it can mask it or or it can even make yeah, it but my worse. skin looked great oh yeah my skin did look great like that was you know yeah, good I, skin I, but terrible periods terrible pms anger issues yeah. anxiety mental breakdowns every month you know but the yeah. skin was good i know i also loved um the pill because of uh, my skin. So I uh, started taking hormonal contraception when I was 16. Oh, okay. That um, late. Sorry? <laughs> that late. <laughs> <laughs> well, in Slovenia. No. Yeah. Uh, we also have sex pretty early, yeah. I guess. But yeah. Um, um, but yeah, I think that was the time when I started dating boys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my mom was like, we're putting you on the pill yep. uh, just in case. Just in case, yeah. Uh, even though I wasn't sexually active for years yeah, after yeah. that still. I think because but of birth control, was I wasn't sexually sick. active because it killed my libido. And so even as like a, yeah. you know, you know, they say teens are like the hormones and everything. And they're like, oh, yeah. sex, sex, sex on the mind. I was like, I hate everybody. I'm, I can't deal with this. And like, I had no so libido. double protection. Yeah, it was double protection. <laughs> no, Good for me, the on. problem was I was getting, I started to feel really depressed. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I switched a couple of brands and I found one that was working and I was, I actually was on the pill since I was 16 until I was 
28. Oh, wow. Yep. Without a brace. It's and it worked really, really well for me yeah. because, um, I mean, I never had any other issues with my, with my cycle. Um, my skin, you know, was getting better because mm -hmm. of um, the hormonal because contraception. Of birth control, yep. Yeah, because of birth control. And also, um, I wasn't getting pregnant. <laughs> there we so go. That was, that was a big, uh, big thing. Um, I definitely didn't want to get pregnant. So yeah. I was super, um, super careful about mm -hmm. uh, taking the pill always on time. And I yep. was always like panicking if I didn't. Uh, but I, I just, I always, I never took mine on time. Rarely did I ever. I know uh, that's really bad. You're supposed to take it at the same time. Yeah. But I didn't know you were supposed well, to take it at the how, same time. Yeah, what, yeah. what's the, the combination of... Um, the what hormones kind of, in it. Yeah, what yeah. kind of um, hormonal contraception it is. Like yeah. some are stronger. Yeah. Um, but some are like barely. Yeah. <laughs> like, like barely <laughs> working. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you should really take them on time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like in general, they work really, really well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I actually went, um, started like, I decided to, to stop taking um, the pill mm -hmm. because when I was 28, I actually realized I know nothing about my cycle. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. Like, like I know nothing That's about crazy. my cycle. Yeah. I don't even know like whether it's I didn't even know whether it's healthy mm -hmm. anymore or like, you know, if there was were some changes, if there's something that I should, you know, start paying attention to. Yeah. Um, I was also starting to think, you know, like even if I get pregnant in like at 28 or later, like it's, you know, I'm it's I'm manageable. ready for that. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, ready for yeah. that. So um, you know, the, 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 the downside wasn't scary for me anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I just decided to stop taking the pill because I wanted to really kind of like see what my cycle is. Yeah. And that's cool. I actually learned some really surprising Ooh. things. Okay. Let's yeah. get into that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it. So like for this episode, we're talking about an incredibly important, um, topic in women's wellness that I think every woman should become aware of mm -hmm. and that's living in sync with your cycle absolutely um and we're going to explain exactly what that means and what your cycle is and like how you can use that um in your daily life to uh basically achieve um variety of different goals yeah it's so, so incredible like in what areas you can improve your absolutely. life by just listening to your body mm -hmm. and stop doing things against and working it. yeah working with it and not against it absolutely. exactly yeah. and knowing yeah. your body as well that's a big one um uh, because that's kind of like the uh the baseline you need to establish yeah, yeah. first and that's a really cool thing too it's like once you start like understanding your hormones and understanding what you should do shouldn't do what you should eat how you should work out how you shouldn't work out like you really do start to feel unstoppable in a sense. And you're like, wow, I really know my body well. And you kind of feel more in touch with yourself. Exactly. And we kind of, we great. like to say that you tap into your superpowers. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's I such like a cool that. term because it's cool. also like taking away the stigma of the, um, of the female hormonal cycle, which You're is so kind hormonal. of like the period. Ugh, um, yeah. And there's yeah. actually power in that. There's power yeah. in the period. Let's oh, be there's real. There's so much power <laughs> like, in the period. On. I mean, it's <laughs> incredible <on>. sometimes. <laughs> a couple of days off. A couple days off. <laughs> but it's still so good. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> or not, whatever you like. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, cool. Let's, let's get into the science of it. The science behind it. What does the cycle mean? So yeah, I think like the common misconception that a lot of people have is that um, the cycle is just periods. Mm -hmm. um, the cycle is so much more. It is, yeah. Uh, a, he a healthy, functioning hormonal cycle that results in periods once uh, per month for women is basically a result of a functioning of a well-functioning endocrine system. Yeah, endocrine system is in charge of secreting. Um, um, hormones around okay, our body, yeah, so different right. different hormones that regulate different functions um, around our body. Uh, but then also, actually, a functioning system of elimination. So things uh -huh. like um, 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 our skin, yeah. our um, um, what's it called, such as our skin, our uh, thick intestine okay. and um, lymphatic system. Uh -huh, the lymphatic, right, right, right. Exactly. So basically eliminating, uh, so that system is in charge of eliminating the, the hormones mm -hmm. that have been used and also toxin, toxins that can interfere with um, our endocrine system. Mm -hmm. But what I think is super important that also a lot of people 
are not aware of is that actually um, all of these systems can be um, influenced by outside outside factors as Absolutely. well, such as our lifestyle choices. Yep. So um, nutrition, mm-hmm. workout, mindfulness, work, stress. Stress is a big thing. Social sleep patterns things, are a big thing. Patterns. Social yeah, hydration, so, sex, yep. sex as well. Yeah. So all of these things basically are so closely intertwined mm-hmm. that we cannot look at our um, reproductive health just from, you know, the perspective of the hormones that regulate yeah. our cycle anymore. You have to like zoom out and look at exactly. the whole big picture. Exactly. Yeah. And like take a more holistic approach yeah. to, um, you know, what women's health is and how we can regulate it and right. how we can help women achieve um, goals in their life yeah. in a much more effective but also pleasant way. Yeah, that's a big, the pleasant way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I know I'm like really hard on myself a lot of the times. And before I started, you know, tracking my cycle and learning like about my hormones and how to live, you know, live by my cycle, if you will. Um, I was really hard on myself because I was like, why can't I do this? Why am I stagnating? And, you know, my workout gains, you know, I'm not like hardcore working out, but, you know, sometimes I like to see the definition um, and like, why am I bloated now? Why am I, you know, why am I skinny now? Like I was just always up and down and I never understood Mm-hmm. why and then it turns out oh it's because there's like this whole you know there are these phases that my body goes yeah. through and i need to learn about those and to actually live by those phases because of the hormones you know my body needs to metabolize yeah. those hormones in like a good way through you know let's say nutrition or something but yeah, yeah it's a total game changer absolutely no for sure i think like i have a similar story like before i started to learn more about what living in sync uh, with your cycle mm-hmm. is how I can adjust my lifestyle to that to achieve better results. I was just, you know, um, you know, burning myself out. That's it. And yeah. I was just having yeah, a yeah. conversation with another girl, and I was like, you know, what do you mean, like this, all of this, like hormones? Like, why should I like adjust my workouts to this phases yeah. or whatever? I'm just like, I'm just doing my program mm-hmm. A, B, and C. You know, every <laughs> three days. A on Monday, B exactly, on Tuesday. Yeah. Exactly. Like, you know, busting my ass off. And, I, yep. you know, I looked great. It worked. I mean, it worked. If you work out, it works. <laughs> but, you, you know, yeah. you can't do, like, super wrong. But I was, you know, I was busting my ass off. And some mm-hmm. days I was having having such a hard time. And so on some days, like, my, my recovery was super fast. Yeah. I would bounce, bounce back, like, immediately. But then uh-huh. some days... I just felt destroyed and I felt so kind of like bad about myself you because felt I felt like defeated, yeah. like I'm not performing well. Yep. Um, What's my wrong with me? Exactly. My motivation would drop, but I would just like plow through that because mm-hmm. I, I think that's what women do in general. Like we love Always. to push ourselves to the edge. And then, you know, I was saying, I like, I can just like plow through that. I can just go through mm-hmm. it. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like I can withstand anything. It's fine. And yeah. she said, she was like, <laughs> That's such a boomer mindset. Okay. <laughs> I mean, she was such a Gen Z, and I was like, "That's such a boomer mindset." Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, not doing anything to make your your life easier. easier yeah. Just like, no, work through it. Uh, and I was just like, go to, with your head through the through the wall. Yeah, and I was like, no. she's right. Yeah. This is such a wrong mindset that we yeah, were kind of like, is. you know, as millennials as well instilled. Uh, into like you need to work really hard yep. you're not doing enough um you know you have yeah. no excuses to slack yeah yep, yep. uh, pull yourself you know, up by your bootstraps and exactly, keep on keeping exactly, on and exactly. yeah go 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 but it's such a wrong mindset it is. um and then when I started to learn more about my cycle and the hormones mm-hmm. and I got off the pill because I wanted to see what my cycle is yep. and how it's going to regulate itself and to see if I have any you know symptoms that I should be concerned about yeah and then I realized that my cycle is basically a roller coaster. So lo- luckily, fine. I don't have any <laughs> health conditions. My mm-hmm. cycle is completely normal. And within two years, it regulated itself into onto like a nine, uh, 29 day okay. uh, cycle. Yeah. And it's super regular. So that's great. That's, that's super great, yeah. super healthy. Everything's fine, luckily. But it's a roller coaster. I have really distinct four phases. Yeah. Which you know. The when phases, we're going to go yeah. into it a bit later. But yeah. like, I know. I mean, I think people at work know what phase I am because it's so, like, I just, <laughs> I change personalities. Yeah. Um, and it's so funny. And then I, when I started to kind of like 
realize that and I was like oh my god like I didn't even know that I'm like that I yeah. didn't know that I uh you know have these changes mm -hmm. um and then I started I tried to learn about all of these changes and what they bring and yeah. better prepare for them and then when I started to um adjust first I started to adjust my workouts to mm -hmm. that. like my results were so much better um not just That's in awesome. terms of like you know bo body um yeah you know, shape or whatever. Mm -hmm. or I think in terms of that, I was anyways, you know, achieving goals that I wanted, but right. it was so much easier for me mentally. Yeah. Like I oh, could recover. Nice. I felt like on days uh, that I can't work out, I didn't, and I, I actually didn't lose any gains. Yeah. Like, so it was really, um, you know, I was doing way less in with way less effort, yeah. but getting the same, same results. results. Yeah. And that's like the but magic then, key right there. But then, <laughs> but then I also implemented wait, there's more. <laughs> that there's more. So workout is great. Yeah. Obviously it's great because... That's the first step. Yeah. Because you want to, we all want to, you know, look great or be healthy or whatever yeah. with as minimum work as possible. That is true. <laughs> I, mean, I can attest to that. I can attest to that. But then I implemented the same knowledge mm -hmm. and the same techniques to my work. So to my Ooh, productivity. Yep, yep, yep. So I started to book, um, you know, book my shootings or mm -hmm. um, interviews or really important <laughs> meetings to certain phase. Yeah. And then I like blanked out certain days in my cycle when I knew Smart. that I will just come into the office and eat people alive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Those are the days that I work from home. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I actually follow your cycle as well. I followed it. And yeah. I think by now, like we all follow each other's cycles because it's, yeah. it makes life so much easier. It is. It is. Um, but I think I like to, to talk about that because mm -hmm. often women are stigmatized because of that, because then people say, oh, you're hormonal. Yeah, I am hormonal. Yeah. And guess and what? It's working to my advantage exactly. and I'm, doing, I'm exactly. doing less, but getting more out of it. I know so. men who are, you know like me on the worst day of my cycle yeah. all the time, <laughs> every day. So, exactly. So, yeah, don't talk to me about being hormonal. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't talk to me about being hormonal. Yeah. Um, men also have hormonal cycles, but they're, um, you know, 24 hour yeah. cycles. So like, uh, you know, they should figure out their, their own shit on their own. <laughs> yeah. there. That's not um, our business. But yeah. for us, like it's a, you know, 28, 29, 30 day, whatever mm -hmm. uh, cycle. So you really have distinct days, which you can like block out for certain things yep. um, and maximize your energy. That's um, huge. And kind of like also the, the strengths that come with it. Exactly. Because you're not you know, you're not functioning the same. You're not throughout like the entire cycle. No, exactly. absolutely. There's ups, there's downs. I mean, it's just like, you know, there's a graph of like hormones that we have and, you know, it shows the rise of estrogen and the rise of progesterone yeah. and like, you know, uh oh, here comes the follicular stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone and it's up and down and your productivity is up and down. Yeah. Your energy is up and down. Your mood is up and down. Your appetite is up and down. Like it's your nutritional needs. Your nutritional needs are up and down. And your like muscle just, growth. Exactly. Everything. <laughs> Ligament elasticity. <laughs> I mean, it's insane. And all of these things were kind of like unknown until recently because mm -hmm. women were basically blocked out of um, any scientific research. Yeah. Because <laughs> if they used women, um, you know, for as subjects in research. The results were so unpredictable. Exactly, and hard yeah. To, to control. And they would need like longer periods to test. <laughs> exactly. And to, you know, try, like, exactly. do these experiments and stuff because, you know, we're not 24 hour clocks. Like, you know, exactly. we don't run on 24 hours. We run on the, you know, 28 exactly. days. And yeah. So studying female, um, female health, female body. It was bodies, such an inconvenience. It's such oh. an inconvenience. It's <laughs> like, so much harder. <laughs> um, so basically, up until now, nobody just did it. So. Yeah. Actually, most of the workout plans, diet plans, mm -hmm. productivity hacks that we still, um, you know, are sold on or like They're follow today medicine. are based on knowledge of male bodies, exactly. male body chemistry yeah. um, and male health. And so, how shitty is that? Because, you know, you do this thing, you know, everyone's like, oh, this works for me. This works. Like you yeah. have to try it. And then you try it and it doesn't work for you. And you're like, what's wrong with me? Why, exactly. why is this not working for me? Exactly. It's not you, babe. Exactly. It's the research they put into it. It so was just based on men. Yeah. Women have so much harder time following any of this advice. Yeah. And then when they're not able to follow it through, mm -hmm. they lose motivation and fall off of wagon. I always realized I would start challenges in uh, like after my period. 
Right. So you have the follicular phase. And mm-hmm. I would start challenge. I would be like, yeah, I'm going to do this 30 day ab challenge. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. And then, you know, as I like progress on this first like week, week and a half, two weeks, you know, I'm it killing well, it. Yeah. I'm killing it. And I'm like, this is so easy. What's, <laughs> what's up? Why was it so hard? Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's just poof, done. I'm like, fuck this. I don't want to do this anymore. I can't do this. Yeah. I, I cannot. Yeah. Like, it's impossible for yeah. me. Oh, it turns out this kind of workout wasn't working yeah. in line with my hormones. Yeah. And so, yeah. And that's a very normal, like, um, very normal pattern that yeah. women go through. Exactly. Because all of these challenges or advice don't, like, calculate in different yep. phases exactly. of the cycle where you're, uh, but it's not just, like, your your will, mm-hmm. like, your mood, your, your will to follow it through. It's actually your, like, physical changes yeah. so basically in your follicular phase you're so much better at building muscle mm-hmm. than in your luteal phase exactly. in your luteal phase um you have better stamina but mm-hmm. not so much high energy exactly uh so basically you're physically unable to perform the same way you would be during the follicular phase mm-hmm. or also then uh fertile window but we'll let's, go yeah, yeah back to, to let's to actually that break that down Let's go ahead and break that down, the phases and everything. Yeah, so, um, so first yeah. I think it's important to understand that the, hormo- the, the female hormonal cycle, so the period cycle, right. is controlled uh, predominantly by FSH. Uh-huh, which that's is follicular, follicular stimulating <laughs> hormone, yeah. <laughs> follicle stimulating. Follicle, yeah, sorry, follicle follicular. Stimulating. <laughs> follicle stimulating hormone, hormone, yeah. And LH, that's luteinizing. Uh-huh, luteinizing hormone, hormone. Yeah. 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 Those are the two main <clears throat> hormones that actually <clears throat> regulate your cycle. Yeah. But the two um, hormones that are actually the reason for most of the changes mm-hmm. in your body throughout the cycle are estrogen and progesterone. Yep. So, yep. so these are like the four hormones <clears throat> for the four phases. Exactly. Just like there were four characters and main characters in Sex in the City. Everything comes in fours exactly. nowadays. Yeah. Four exactly. seasons, uh, four suits in a card deck. Sorry, I'm just yeah. talking about four, four best friends. Four best friends <laughs> were the four best friends that anybody ever had. Okay. Um, um, but sorry, yeah. ADDing out over here a little bit. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, so it's the four hormones. But yeah. when we talk about the changes, we'll mostly be talking about estrogen and progesterone. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you imagine the cycle as four phases, it starts with um, your first day of the period. That's mm-hmm. day, one day one of your cycle. Yeah. And that's when all four hormones are at their lowest Absolute, levels. Yeah. And Absolute. you feel that. You feel that. Exactly. Yeah. And you actually feel um, that deep in your hormonal levels. So basically you're kind of like more tired. Mm-hmm. Um, A little bit more inward, kind of like exactly. to yourself and not reclusive, but reclusive. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. But that's okay. That's also the day when your estrogen starts picking up. So the yep. first day of estrogen rise. We love estrogen. So yeah. with each day, you start feeling better and better mm-hmm. and more energized. So exactly. actually, period phase is not that bad. It's just mm-hmm. like maybe the first or the, and the second day of the period. But yep. then you start feeling better and better. And I always notice that too, like a little uptick in energy as I like get through my period yeah. and stuff. And sometimes even like by day three or four. I'm kind of like really like I'm like oh ready to like what's up yeah, like exactly. damn ready now. To like who are you like, hi. <laughs> like who's that girl um, um, I'm still a little bit bloated but you know I just you know I'm just a bloater um, but well, yeah actually, but that's also myself. estrogen yeah, yeah. Um, estrogen can cause your uh, can can cause bloating yeah and yeah. changes in your metabolism so there we go so oh. that's kind of like the downside but everything else is. A, an ups, upside. It is. it is. Um, so basically your energy starts to rise with your estrogen. Mm-hmm. And then when your period is over, um, your follicular phase starts. Mm-hmm. But before we get into follicular, let's get into a little bit of like life advice for the period phase. Right. Um, nutrition is big because I bloat, but I know that whenever I, you know, eat the proper food throughout my cycle, I don't bloat as much. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like my periods just easier to handle mm-hmm. and I actually feel like it's kind of like I don't know I feel sexier sometimes yeah like and it's just because like I'm re- like we're both really big on nutrition and eating right yeah but like during the period phase like you always want to focus on you know different types of foods like so iron is really good you're losing blood you exactly. have to replenish it that's good yeah. vitamin c that's great during your period yeah. as well magnesium this also helps with cramps um I'm a cramper <laughs> So magnesium has yeah, become, many women are. Yeah. So magnesium has become like a really best friend for me. And I love in, 
putting that in my diet even before my period, but especially like on my period as well. Like I'm just like, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. like different things. And if you have some cravings, I think like a little bit of sugar is actually fine because mm -hmm. when you start entering your follicular phase, you actually start using up more carbs. Absolutely. Yep. So a little bit more carbs is fine, but then try to substitute, um, you know, um, unhealthy foods with healthier <laughs> alternatives. We yeah. have some great recipes for um, not just PMS, but also period phase yeah. in our app. And we have some so, mood boosters in the app exactly. as well, because I know a lot of women suffer, you know, like low mood, low during mood the period yeah. phase. And so we just like chock full of like those B vitamins and it kind of helps put a little pep in your step. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I but this. like the good thing is that period space is relatively short. Yeah. And like I said, the first and the second day should be harder, mm -hmm. hardest, but then you should start feeling better and better. A little better. bit smooth sailing from yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, smoother sailing. And then the follicular phase is kind of like the, um, you know, the, the, the sunrise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that intro scene and so Yeah, Lion exactly. King. Like, it's like, ah, when it's like all yeah. orange and <laughs> golden just... and like shiny. So that's your follicular phase. Yeah. Um, um, estrogen is still rising. Mm -hmm. You have more and more energy. Yeah. Um, your muscle growth is better. So than it's picking you. up. Exactly. But okay, but wait, let's backtrack a little bit. Um, in the period phase though, like talking about muscle growth, uh, um, you definitely want to focus on kind of yoga and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. So more stretching. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so more stretching routines. Um, actually when your estrogen starts to rise, mm -hmm. your ligaments become a little bit more flexible, which is also dangerous for potential injuries. Yeah. Okay. Um, so more static, like, yeah. um, stretching, uh, Pilates. Mm -hmm. So whatever your body allows you. So during the period phase, there's like nothing distinctive about it in terms of like muscle growth yeah. or, or whatsoever because all of your hormones are it's really, more just really kind of getting your blood flowing exactly. and like getting your serotonin exactly. going and stuff like that but yeah. mostly like you're safeguarding your energy yeah. and your mood and your motivation yeah. so do whatever your body allows you to do in that exactly. period um, in preparation of follicular period. And then period. once you get into fo like uh, more into follicular, phase. then yeah. you can start kind of like... Picking up your workouts. That's really good, yeah. Because yeah. follicular phase, because of um, improved muscle growth, uh -huh. is actually great for strength exercises. Yep. And because yep. also, beca uh, because your ligaments are a bit more, um, um, you know, softer, mm -hmm. um, more elastic because of the injury, uh, injury uh, danger of injury. Yeah. Um, strength workouts are actually great because they're kind of like more slower movement and it's controlled like less, exactly well. it's controlled yeah. slow movement that's great yeah um so basically that's a great time to do strength exercises grow your muscle focus on using up that energy that you have that newfound energy exactly. is so good yeah it's actually a great time to start challenges or new routines uh -huh, because uh -huh. you're willing to learn more yep. you're willing to take up new challenges absolutely but but you need to calculate that you have about nine to 10 days of yeah. that kind of. So short term is key Short here. term. Thing. And this isn't just for yeah. working out as well. This is also good advice for your productivity and work life. So if yeah. there is a short project that you're like, you know, somebody's talking about and they're like, oh, you know, we have like a week to do this kind of thing. It might be a good time to actually jump on board with that project and get some, get some stuff going with that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. just count on like the next phase yeah. uh, coming after um, follicular phase. Yeah. Um, because that's when, you know, you're start, you're, you'll start to slow down again yeah. and your mood and energy will change. Mm -hmm. Nutritional needs, uh, physical, Absolutely. um, kind of like changes. So just re be prepared to that for that and mm -hmm. calculate that into your, um, schedule or whatever project you're, yeah. you're, So short term is key here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's a short term boost, but yeah. it's magnificent. But it's a magnificent boost. <laughs> it's yeah. beautiful. Can't recommend it enough. 10 exactly. out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> Um, so actually mm -hmm. the second part of the follicular phase mm -hmm. is fertile window mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and fertile window is the sun up. That's the, that's the noon. That's of high your noon. Cycle. Yeah. That's high yeah. noon. Yep. That's when everything is kind of like shiny and it's, uh, you know, um, that's the most magnificent part of the cycle actually. I like that part as yeah. well. Yeah. That's always my favorite. Well, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And it is peak of your cycle because your estrogen is at its peak. It's at its peak as well. Yeah. At, at, at its highest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that means your horniest. 
Clarity is. Clarity is. Most communicate. <laughs> Most communicate. You communicate a lot. I can't say the word. Yeah. <laughs> you communicate a lot. Uh, uh. So basically, you know, you're very much, um, your energy is much more outward. Yeah. Oriented. No, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you kind of like, you want to connect with everybody. You want to, mm-hmm. you know, start new things and so forth. So, yeah. but I again, like, you have to be careful with that because it does come to an end eventually. So it has, you have to like does. really like but be, utilize it, but be gentle. You know, exactly. Be gentle. Be gentle. It's gonna crash. Like, yeah. No, you're, you're not gonna crash. It's gonna be fine. It'll Don't be worry. fine. Yeah. Um, no, but it's actually a great uh, phase to have first dates. And that's true. Yeah. Have you ever tried? Uh, actually, I avoid men during my fertile window because <laughs> it's Dude, dangerous just, for me. Like, yeah, it's stay too away dangerous. From me. Stay away from me. No, no, but it is. Uh, sometimes, like my friends, you know, some of them are on Tinder still. Some of them are, you know, out in the dating scene, and they come to me and they're like, Mel, like you know, I have a date and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. When was your last period? And then I like calculate the phase for them. Like you got You got to push it for like one week, girl. You got to push it. Like you're not going to be at your best. Like, you know, trust me. And then like, sometimes my friends really do like, they're like, okay, I'm going to go on a date the week after. And then they go and then they're like, I hate you. We had, we had sex and you know, now I'm over him. I'm like, I don't want to talk to him ever again. But, but you had you know, good time. But she had a great time. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, and your skin was on point, guaranteed, you know. That's the only thing that matters. But then she's like, but she's like, yeah, but, you know, I want to date all these other people during this time as well. I'm like, do it, do it, you know, <laughs> vicariously living through it her. All. <laughs> but it is a great time for first dates. It's a great time to, you know, even in your work life, ask for a raise. Exactly. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just a yeah. great time to like utilize that confidence boost because I love using it for scheduling my photo shoots. Those are good. Yeah. Scheduling <laughs> meetings. Yeah, yeah. Scheduling important meetings mm-hmm. because I know I'll have so much energy, yep. you know, to dispose and I'll, I'll just like, I'll shine. I, I see that people notice this yeah. change in me, mm-hmm. like whenever I walk into the office and All I know that me. I look yeah. great yeah. and I feel great and I see people noticing that. And, you know, when you feel great and you feel confident, everything is so much easier. It is. But what's not easy is when you're on the opposite schedule of her with your cycle and she schedules all these meetings while you're on, you're in PMS. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, we cannot all align. We can't all align. <laughs> but we've gotten better. We started syncing up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it, there's, it's totally different because when we were on opposite schedules, I was PMSing and you were in your fertile window. Yeah. Like I was just like, how does she do this? Like what's, it's so hard. But then, you know, I learned to kind of use the superpowers in luteal. Um, oh, my God. The worst but, experience with that, like the opposite side of the cycle were when we were shooting Push Your Wellness uh-huh, um, uh-huh. panel. Yeah. That we, we talked on the Push Your Wellness about the same topic, about living in sync with your cycle mm-hmm. um, and how Bellavit can ha- Bellavit products can help you with that um, with Shayna Taylor. Yep. And like Shayna was in her fertile window and she was glowing. She was so beautiful. And so effortless. It was effortless. Like she was so communicative, like, and she's a pro in doing that. I'm not, I'm like, my, my job is actually not this. (laughs) (laughs) Um, so like she was, you know, it was like, she was like a, an angel, like a fairy. And then there was me in my PMS, <laughs> like just before my period, like yeah. the worst day ever. And yeah. I felt like crap, especially next to her. Like mm. I felt like a wet oh. pile of clothes, like yeah. that you left there for a week, like to start stinking. <laughs> um, but you look so, good. You look great. I think like so, she yeah. helped me so much. She kind of yeah. like, she, she, she transferred some of her yeah. mojo oh, nice. <laughs> to yeah. me. You, like I, I fed on her in, yeah. energy. I was like an energy <laughs> vampire. Like give me some of that. Like give me, give me. Yes, um, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it worked. Like her energy bounced off of me and yeah. it was great. Um, she helped me so much. But like that was the worst experience in my career, probably mm-hmm. of like doing something with someone. <laughs> and that was and huge. Opposite. Yeah. It was a huge, that was a huge, huge project. opportunity, huge project. And then I was just like, this couldn't go like more wrong. Yeah. Uh, but the problem is was like that we had to reschedule because of COVID and blah blah. Yeah. And I wasn't able to schedule on, you Damn know, it. on my like according window. to my yeah. cycle. Like other ways I would, but this time I was like literally unable. The it's project impossible. would like fall, fall through yeah. if I complicated too much. But you know what's really cool about that though is like there's kind of a complementative energy to that. So yeah. Where she was like a little bit more like, 
you know, kind of go, 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 but you were a little bit more like on the receiving, like kind yeah. of like, oh, this is not, and like kind of that calm, you yeah. know, it was like a calm sea, but yeah. you still came off very confident. You still, because obviously like this is something, you fake know. Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> yeah. Like, Hashtag. Fake it yeah. until my next follicular phase. Yeah. But it was really, it was really great. And you two had like really great chemistry and it was really good balance there, well, thank you know? You. And so, thank yeah. You. I mean, guys, that interviews on YouTube if you want to watch it. So it's Yeah, it's I think totally like I recommend it. to watch it if somebody wants like a shorter version of yeah. what we're talking about yeah. that is kind of like more uh focus on um on practical advice yeah and, and there's a lot of nutritional recipes yeah. nutritional advice recipes. Shay and I is a, you know a professional chef yeah um so I think it's a great great content to watch it is I like it and also we made those uh like the, dates, la the lavender lavender dates, dates. chocolate covered lavender dates for PMS <gasps> oh, no you. they're super good oh I make with those with pistachio oh <gasps> the pistachios are so good yeah Oh, um, talking about PMS, <laughs> <laughs> after oh, yeah. your fertile window, like the glowing period, mm -hmm. like of your cycle is done, you enter luteal oh, period, period, luteal, luteal period. Yeah. And after you've all ovulated, it means that you have 14 days until your period starts. And that's your <laughs> luteal. <laughs> literally two period. weeks. Yeah, literally uh. two weeks. Um, you know, but it's, it's not, not that it's bad. Not, it's not that bad. So basically, estrogen starts to slowly decline, decline. but then progesterone starts, starts to, to come climb. up. Yeah. And progesterone um, influences a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, but what it brings is that your body is better at using protein for energy. That's, so basically, yeah. kind of like switch up your diet so that there's a little bit less carbs and a little bit more mm -hmm. protein rich foods. Protein, yep, yep, yep. Um, and then it also brings kind of like a more inwards turned energy. Yeah. Your stamina gets better, but you don't have so much like explosive yeah. energy. That's why cardio is actually really good. Yes, but luteal. kind of like um, gentle, gentle cardio, cardio yeah. because yeah. Yeah. Um, gentle. So kind of like jogging yeah. or treadmill. So it's something that almost feels like a meditative like So process. like jogging through the park is actually really recommended, yeah. you know, go in nature, you know. That's yeah. like the thinking period, yeah. like even for projects, like mm -hmm. that, that's the time where you maintain projects yep. that you've started. Mm -hmm. um, so because you have like more um, inward start energy, you yeah. think things through, mm -hmm. uh, you're less likely to jump on like opportunities. Or, oh like, yeah, more likely uh, to avoid them. <laughs> or like sexy looks. <laughs> yeah. Um, so kind of like you're just like more on one place yeah. and, uh, and that's actually a really great time to kind of tend to your home needs I always notice like during luteal you know I'm taking better care of like my home life uh I'm taking better care of my finances I'm kind of organizing it and being like aha okay this is you know I'm basically budgeting and I kind of like focus on those smaller administrative tasks and mm -hmm. stuff you know I do yeah. a bunch of like basically I kind of like see it as kind of like my cleanup phase exactly like, yeah and it's that it's very productive really like it's kind of a blessing because you do have to slow yeah. down sometimes and just take a breath yeah reflect and be like aha uh -huh, okay let's yeah. yeah let's finish this let's maintain this and make sure that it's you know gonna exactly. be okay for another cycle so yeah no I think like <laughs> even though we're not in our I like to call it American phase like we're extrovert <laughs> like energetic <laughs> like we're more in like the European, European phase, phase. Moody, that's a good example down <laughs> Rumpy. Um, it's not that bad actually. It's really it not. It doesn't have to be that, but no. it has. It actually has worse rep than it than mm -hmm. it And that's is. only because of PMS. Only because of PMS, yeah. which is actually the last, um, normally the last five days of uh, mm -hmm. the cycle. And even though many women experience symptoms of PMS, a lot of women don't uh, experience them at all. So yeah, or um, experience them in like such a extreme kind of exactly. way. You know, like. I don't know. Yeah. So if like some uh, symptoms of PMS are normal, yeah. but extreme symptoms could be a sign of an underlying mm -hmm. issue that yeah. should be looked into and treated. Such so, as endometriosis. Such as endometriosis. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> PCOS. Um, or PCOS. Mentioned, or earlier. just like um, hormonal disbalance in general. Yeah. yeah. And just general unhealthy lifestyle as well. Exactly. Yeah. So a great thing about uh, this kind of symptoms, the uh, PMS symptoms, is that they are actually very treatable mm -hmm. unless there is underlying health condition yep. that yep. has to be treated through a longer process, um, through lifestyle changes. Yeah. So through 
proper supporting health supporting diet mm -hmm. uh workouts and yeah. mindfulness mindfulness is huge yeah yeah, yeah. That's really uh, because that's one. when a lot of women suffer from anxiety attacks uh yeah. cramps start yeah. um skin conditions so everything that kind of like yeah. also brings your moods down even though it's not directly affecting you it's just that it makes you feel it's a bit more of crappy magnified exactly yeah. magnified yeah. um and also some constipation maybe um yeah. So all of these things actually can be treated or minimized mm -hmm. through healthy uh, health supporting, um, uh, hormonal balance supporting diet, yep. uh, workouts and or mindfulness. And mindfulness. Yeah. Absolutely. No, you're absolutely right. And I always notice a difference whenever I'm, you know, let's say like living by my cycle versus when I'm not. And yeah. it's my PMS is it's like night and day, basically. Yeah. Uh, my cramps, completely different, you know, uh, my mood. My yeah. mood is so affected. Like I am very moody in like both good and bad ways. Yeah. Um, it's a roller coaster. It is. It is. But like whenever, you know, I use the app, we have the power ingredients that go with your cycle. Um, and I take those recommendations. I'm just like, oh, okay. Like I'm, I'm, I'm more stable, if you will. Like I'm just, yeah. it's I'm very. You're basically so trying to stabilize that like final drop. Exactly. Because yeah. during PMS, all of your home hormones um, you know, dropped. Yeah, their they're just like fuck this. I'm out. You know, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so that's what actually is influencing all of these symptoms. It's mm -hmm. just like this very sudden uh, change in hormonal uh, levels. Yeah. So basically, what you need to do is support that and kind of like um, you know help your body go through um, that like very short phase. Yeah. 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 Um, so in terms of uh, workouts. What we recommend also in Bellabit app is again like turning to stretching mm -hmm. and Pilates. Pilates that are can great. really support um, your dig digestion, yep. so constipation. Mm -hmm. uh, but then also it's gentle to the body so that you don't also overload your body with um, uh, like those know, high intensity. Exactly high intensity. Of, you don't yeah. like reach burnout level, uh, which might like make the symptoms of PMS or, worse, you know, yeah, worse. Yeah. Your body can't handle the hormonal drop mm -hmm. plus all the other burdens that's, that you're And that's you're a lot of energy to put on. into. You know, if you're doing high intensity interval training, when you're literally about to start your period, like, I don't know how you would do that anyway. Yeah. Like, how is your energy? And it doesn't like, that? it doesn't have so many benefits because yeah. your muscle growth is not as big. It's not as, as great. Your, yeah. It's not as great as in your follicular exactly. phase. So basically you're doing something that might not have uh, you know, the same effect as in other phases not as of much the benefits. cycle. So why yeah. not just wait? Um, so, main, so the, exactly. the name of the game, maintain. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Maintain. We're going we're gonna to TM Very that. Good. <laughs> um, but yeah, just like, just give yourself this period to rest before yeah. the next follicular phase yeah. when you can like attack it again and exactly. you will get those results anyways. Yeah. Uh, uh, like the, uh, if you try to do it the other way, you're going to burn yourself out yeah. by the time you get into follicular phase yeah. and then you'll be burned out and you won't be able to use the benefits and of, utilize uh, it, utilize it, mm. utilize your follicular phase. So it's phase. just a cycle, you know, and, you know, just kind of like with everything, you know, as humans, obviously we need time to rest. We need time to sleep, you know, and that's what the cycle is as well. Like uh, with our hormones, like there's a time when we're awake and we're on fire and then there's like that peak day yeah. kind of thing. And then at the end of the day, we go to sleep. And that's, you know, our luteal as well. That's exactly. when we're resting. That's when we're recovering. That's a very Let's nice way to put it. Oh, I yeah. love that. <laughs> we should illustrate that. We could illustrate. Here, let's yeah. just put it right here. Yeah. Did you illustrate it? <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, no, absolutely. And it's just, and that's what balance is. It exactly. just basically, it brings your body to this balance. It's, it's using your energy when you have it and, yeah. and it's preserving it when you, when you don't, don't have it. it. And I think that's the most important thing, especially going back. It's the yin and yang of it. Yeah. yeah. And like you mentioned earlier, like it's a boomer mentality. Sorry, boomers. Uh, it's a boomer mentality to, you know, always go, go, go. Yeah. When the reality is we need to rest. I mean, we, we, need we to all see that where balance. that's brought them. Like, no, <laughs> no, please. No. It doesn't work. It, it just doesn't, doesn't work. It's not sustainable. <laughs> and it's not sustainable and mm -hmm. it's not healthy for it's anyone. Not anyone. Not yeah. for them and not for all of us around them, <laughs> yeah. even less. Jeez. Um, but but yeah. no, that's, yeah, so cool. Um, so yeah, like stepping away from boomer mentality mm -hmm. and into the new era of women's wellness. Yay! That that's really that wonderful. So I like that.
Um, cool. But yeah, I think like this episode has enough material to understand a little bit Absolutely. what we're talking about. But then in the next episode, we will actually talk a little bit more about how can um, lifestyle changes mm-hmm. um, and uh, other health supporting routines help you balance your whole um, hormonal mm-hmm. system and how it's all interconnected. And how you can utilize technology to support you in that That's uh, on that journey, which can be confusing because yeah. if you want to live uh, by your cycle, that means you have to properly track your cycle. Yep. You have to properly map out your cycle. Yep. And then you also have to know about all the changes that those phases bring mm-hmm. and how, how you can act upon them. Yep. So technology can be a great tool in helping you, you know, Absolutely. simplify all of that. Simplifying it, that's key. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And make a lot of, do all the work uh, for you. So basically you can, not all the work. Yeah, not all of it. Like but not all of it, because you still have it, yeah. to do the things. Yeah. There's no like magic pill. Um, I think that's what, you know, makes us so unhealthy today is that we always expect a quick, quick solutions. Yeah. Um, you know, adjusting your lifestyle to your cycle can take years. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think there's no quick solutions. And you still have to do a lot of learning and you still have to do all the work. You have to work out, you have yeah. to eat the right food. So there's no way around it. But technology can be a great support uh, on that journey mm-hmm. and simplifying the things that can be simplified. Giving you the tools you need. Exactly, you giving succeed. you the tools to uh, succeed. Nice. I'm just on a roll today. Like, what on is fire. this? Like, am, I, am I follicular? <laughs> am I fertile just window? Just like tweets rolling <laughs> like, out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> one Little melisms coming yeah. at you. Yeah. Well, cool. I look forward to that next one too because, yeah, honestly, Bella Beat has helped me so much. Just be more in sync. Like, you know, with not just like, you know, my cycle, not but just yourself, but myself as mm-hmm. well. Yeah, 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 definitely. And your colleagues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll talk a bit more about uh, in ne- about it in next episode. And I think this one is kind of like we can wrap it up. 